I seen on YouTube an automatic uh, valve for log splitter. In other words, you push it forward and you can leave the valve go and it'll keep going until it splits. It'll automatically kick this valve off and to return. And then once it returns, it kicks it to neutral. Now they make a valve like that. I seen it. Somebody had one on YouTube, and it gave me the idea. So I started searching, and I come across this guy's channel who made a regular detent valve uh, work like that. So I'm going to try to copy his somewhat, and uh, see if maybe if I can improve on it. If not, at least it'll work that way. But I'll and I'll post a. Oh, the fella's name, if I could find it again. So I got, uh, I moved everything around. I moved the cylinder up, or the valve up on top of the cylinder, which actually what I did was rotate the back of the cylinder. I rotated this part. Uh -huh. Pulled these bolts out, which it all you have to do is just pull them bolts out and just turn, everything will just turn. Um, it's not a big deal. Actually, it's not a big deal to rebuild one of them if you have the O-rings and stuff for it, but I didn't want to pull it apart. I didn't want to do more than I needed to. So I just turned it around like a quarter turn, and that brought uh, this valve up brought this valve up to match instead of coming out the side it's on top which most of the log splitters are on top like that um, which it will work better so and I also put a bigger push plate on it because that one I had on it uh, would just push the bottom of the log off if you tried doubling the one that was split and I may later on try to put a uh, something that slides over top of this to put an uh, angle cut out, but I don't know. I can remember I tried that once before, and for some reason, I don't know if the cylinder didn't have enough guts behind it for the harder split wood uh, with knots in it. Sometimes it gives you a problem. So. I don't know, I'll make it so I can slide it on and off. Anyhow, I put this on it instead of the regular handle, which got a little bit of slop in it because that's not the right bolt in there right now. But all I need to do is attach something to from, from this point to here and when this opens up and gets to the end of the run it'll pull that open then that will automatically stay open until it returns because the valve does return um, I guess it's a detent they call that return and once it gets to the whole way back it automatically kicks open but the problem is holding. See, right now I got to hold that by hand. So I got to figure out a way to get this to stay, which I think I have um, figured it out. That's probably the easy part. Then once the cylinder goes to the end, it's going to pull it out. It'll pull it out, but it's only going to go so far. It's only going to go to there. I think there's no way I can get it because it's it'll stop once it gets that far once it kicks it you know pulls it out of that hold it's just gonna stay there I need something that once it kicks out it's gonna kick it and flip it back and the only thing I can think of right now is a spring It will make it harder to push on, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. <laughs> 